call Gay UK 0891 The Gay UK chat line 0891 Call now. So this is Mr. Gay UK. There's no room for softies up here, you know. All our lads in this are really tough, hard guys. And to prove it, we sent them on a mission. Let's go and see them at Operation Tough Puff. If you go down to Leatherbelly Woods today, you'll find the lads about to take part in paintball. But before the weapons are loaded, a few ground rules. Do not shoot people in the head on purpose. If you wish to handle your weapons, you may do so in the fumble zone which is the far side of the netting if you want to examine your gun see why it isn't working shoot at a target which does not shoot back and doesn't move that's where we do it down in the fumble zone think safety at all times it is number one most important you don't want anybody going home with their eye in their hand so they get their kit off and slip into something more suitable no not the instructor even crack commandos need a little makeup to look the part. We're all tough puffs together! Yeah. I don't know what you've been told! I don't know what you've been told! Mr. Gay UK is very bold! Mr. Gay UK is very bold! He is strong and he is tough! He, he is, is strong and he is tough! But he's got a great eye for his two design! But he's got a great eye for his two design! Tension builds as they provoke each other, but who will crack first? Uh, come and get me. Wait a minute, we're getting sidetracked here. These smell really nice. Yeah, when it takes a moment, pop them in oh, the bar. They look nice. The barracks. Come on, lads, get stuck in. Paintball war is hell. But for real hands-on experience of battle, you can't beat combat when it's simply mano a mano. While we've been watching the boys wrestling in the woods, our judges have been wrestling with the scores. Back to you, Jane. Backstage, our gorgeous guys are very, very nervous and desperately hoping that they've got into the top ten. I have no idea who the top ten are, but it just so happens I know a man who does. Andy! Hello, well, darling! Well, Jane, hello to you too. Let's find out who will be our ten semi-finalists. And the first one gets your smelling salts ready. Our first funky hunk is contestant number three, representing E2 in Liverpool, Mark Letcham. Just look at that body. Oh. <laughs> well, this, of course, is Mark. And you're the one who does the rugby playing, aren't you? I am a the rugby instrument. You've got the odd-shaped balls to do that, haven't you? Well, probably, but I've never had any complaints, you know what I mean? Believe me, darling, you never will get any complaints. Is he just hunky? He's gorgeous. You go down there and show us what you've got. Our second crewman navigating his way on stage is contestant number four, representing Queen Shilling in Bristol, Chris Gilly! Oh, Chris! 
Look at you in all your sparkly bits. What you, have you mixed some of mine? Is it, isn't he just gorgeous? <laughs> You're the one that had all the chains on. Do you reckon? Yeah? You like chains? I do, actually. They're quite horny, aren't they? Yeah, actually, I'm feeling a bit flushed. <laughs> oh, that was really bad, wasn't it? I think you should strut your funky stuff down there. Once more for our lovely Chris Geary, go on. Our boy and third boy is contestant number 22 from Dot Cottons in Cambridge. He's Richard Finch. Is he here? Where have you been? Ooh wee. Are they a fab crowd? They're brilliant. You're fab, aren't you fab? Now, it says here that you, you were in a holiday brochure for the 1830s, is that true? I was. I've just got back from Gran Canaria, so uh, all of you go in the uh, travel agents in a couple of weeks and uh, have a flick through. I think I'll get a copy myself, just have a look at him. He's gorgeous, isn't it? Real smooth guy. Absolutely. We're so delighted you got through to the top ten. Go and strut your stuff, darling. <laughs> Richard Finch. Andy, who's next, my darling? Representing Paradise in Manchester, contestant number 18, Bob Dent. <laughs> Is your little heart beating? Oh, just a bit. Are you nervous? Crapping myself, yeah. <laughs> Ah, no, it does. Yeah, gosh, you say crap on TV. It's no problem with that. Now, it says here that you're a scuba diver. I certainly am, yeah. It's my best thing in the world. Best thing. I'm a paddy diver. Are you, are you a... Yeah, advanced paddy diver. Always advanced. Very nice. Well, we think you're advanced to be on here tonight. You've got a fantastic body. And isn't he just fabulous, ladies and gentlemen? Off you go, my darling. <laughs> I'm gonna need to lie down in a minute, I really am. Andy, back to you, darling. Well, Jane, we're halfway there already on our fantastic fifth fella. It's contestant number 17 representing Powerhouse in Newcastle, Stephen Capster. <laughs> Ooh, you're a big boy. I'm a big lad. Oh, he's got a really deep voice as well. Do that again. I'm a big lad. It's too butch. It's so butch. It says here you've met Boy George. I have. I like his music. If we like Boy George, don't we? He's a top turn. He's fab. So was he really nice to you? Yeah, he was. He's really nice boy. Good survivor. It is fab. Well, I think our cowboy of this evening should show us just how butch he really is. Off you go. Ah, the fantastic Stephen Capps out there. Say we're halfway through already. What do you think of it so far? I think it's back to you, Terry, wherever you are. Well, I'm backstage here, Jane. These guys are like petrified, they're shaking here. What are you going to do if you don't make it through to this next five that are going to be called out? I'm going to clap for the rest of the lads because you all deserve to win. That's nice, isn't it? A good sportsman, I like that. And what about you, Nick, covered in mud here? If you don't get through to this next five, how are you going to feel? Um, it's, it's all for a laugh, isn't it? It's all, it's all a good competition. 
but you've had a lovely time as well, haven't you, over the last couple of days? Absolutely, yeah, it's been fab. And you can get a good old wash when you get home as well, because your mother will go mad when she sees you on television looking like this. And of course, our Scotland representative, doesn't Ralph look wonderful? You know, it, it upsets me because these guys are just so nice and it, there's only five more that we're going to pick. Ralph, what's going to do it for you, do you think? Um, just down to the judges and people in the audience. You hope they're going to pick you, surely? Well, I'm hoping. Keep your fingers crossed. We're all keeping our fingers crossed back here. Jane, the tension is mad. Oh, it's fab, isn't it, Terry? You're doing a fab job up there with all those gorgeous guys. Andy, can we carry on with our wonderful contestants, please? We can indeed, Jane. Well, I'm sure a look of relief will cross the face of our six sexy fella tonight. It's contestant number seven, representing Central Station in London. Welcome, Ricky Pullman. Wow. Your claim to fame is that you were a designer at Valentino's party. Yes. Um, the last time in Mykono had been this time. Been this time. So you're a big fan of sequins, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Isn't he sultry, ladies and gentlemen? Such a sultry body. Go down there and show us what you're made of, darling. Give him a big round of applause. Off you go. Do you know, I feel as if I'm in a sweet shop and I've got no money. <laughs> it's just not fair, isn't it? Woo! Andy, contestant number seven, I believe, is next. Well, Jane, our seventh piece of hunky heaven is representing Dundee Liberties, and his name is Neil Webster, contestant number 21. Oh, bless. Enough to be my son, you do. No, I am. no you're not really. I'm only two. <laughs> so it says here that you like music and most things. So you, you just like, just like everything, really. Everything. Everything. What's your favourite drink? Vodka. Always my mate. He likes a drop of the hard stuff. And you like the Cupid Zaro and all that. Oh yeah, certainly do. Gosh, isn't he so cute, ladies? Do you think he's a cutie? You get down there, our little cherub, Neil Webster, all the way from Dundee. <laughs> He's so shy. He's so shy, isn't he? Bless him. Oh. Andy, come test at number eight, please. Ah, uh, Jane, our eighth is enigmatic, energetic, and possibly by the time he gets on the stage, totally excited. Welcome from the yard in Mansfield, contestant number 20, Daniel Wisniewski. <laughs> Wisniewski, where's that from? That's Poland, Jane, Poland. Now then, you stripped live on radio, didn't you? Yeah, that was in Derby. It was actually a live link outside. It was a bit cold, but it turned a few heads. So you've definitely got a face for radio then, do you think? I don't know. What do you think? I think he's got a body for everything. <laughs> I really do. Now, you're a bit of a high flyer. You like the old shell suits and the, all the flight suits. You into that? Yeah, I'm into anything. Oh, he's into anything. Well, let's see what he's really into in front of us right now. There he goes, Daniel Wisniewski. Give him a big cheer. Well, Jane, the penultimate position, our ninth semi-finalist is all the way from Leicester Place in Leicester, contestant number 11, Willis James. <laughs> now, you're into leather. Yeah, light leather, soft, warm. You're just a fantastic, look at this color. Isn't it fantastic, this? 
Woo! You've got such a fabulous body there. And uh, you're a sort of mean and moody look, haven't you? Sometimes, but I'm a really soft, gentle, caring sort of guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. Look at that lovely smile. Give us that smile. Isn't it gorgeous? Please show us what you're going to show us now. Get down there, Willis James from Leicester. <laughs> I can't believe what I've just <laughs> Calm yourself, girl. Our final perfectly formed dreamboat tonight, all the way from Oxford, contestant number 16, Barry Wright. Woo! Oh, hello. <laughs> you look really shocked. I am. I am shocked. I didn't think I'd get this far. Oh, you deserve to do, darling. Now, Barry, you love ice cream. I do. I've got a fetish about it. I love rubbing it in all the parts you couldn't believe. Oh, keep, no, don't keep going. My mother's watching. And you're a show jumper, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm a show jumper. I bring young horses on. And... Well, there you go. You're very tall for a jockey. You need long legs to wrap them around them. I like something hot and throbbing in between the legs. Oh, don't we all, love? Don't we all? Show us what you've got there, down there, our Barry Wright. <laughs> Adorable. Terry, where are you? I'm over here. Oh, hello, darling. Hi, Jane. Well, I'm up with the judges again, just doing a little bit of hobnobbing, you know. Sat with Denise Welsh. <laughs> Sir Ian McKellen. You'll have to excuse me because I've got a, a bit of a sore throat. I'm going to try and suck a fisherman's friend a bit later.